for many of us, at least at times, the shoulders and the neck can hold more tension than we really like. And it's wonderful to stretch and massage, so definitely keep doing that. But here is another thought worth considering. For the shoulders to be relaxed, for the neck to feel at ease, they need a good base of support. And the base of support for your shoulders and your neck is the rib cage. The width of the rib cage really supports your shoulder girdle and then the depth of the rib cage supports the neck and your head. Therefore, instead of fighting tensions in the shoulders and the neck, it's really worthwhile to improve their base of support, which will unload the shoulders. They can rest on your rib cage. Therefore, let's do a movement here to create more spaciousness, more expansiveness in your rib cage, and then promote ease in the shoulders and the neck. You can get into a sitting position that is comfortable for you if you like. Cross the legs. You can also sit a little bit higher. And then you take your arms out to the sides. Elongate your spine fully. And then inhale and move into a side bend. I will mirror you. You are going towards your right side and you open the side of your ribcage on the left side. And now with your left hand, start reaching down towards the right hand. Feel your ribcage moving at the top rib cage so the rib cage is spiraling open and the spine follows take your arm overhead if you like you can revolve your sternum slightly up towards the ceiling even reach the arm a little bit back and then again the side bend press with your right hand lower the left and let the arm take the rest of the body to the other side Open your right rib cage. Take a deep breath. So you're moving slowly here. Let the breath flow. Every time you inhale, think about expansion in the ribs. And then you're spiraling down, mobilizing the rib cage in a three dimensional manner. And also, of course, mobilizing the spine. And then you take your arm overhead again, slightly revolve the sternum up towards the ceiling, reach back and then to the side again, unwind, let the arm take the spine to the other side. So by doing three-dimensional movements for the ribcage, as we are doing together right now, and then also incorporating the breath, that sense of expansion with the inhalation, we can increase the spaciousness of the ribcage and therefore expand the base of support for the shoulders and bring ease to the shoulders and the neck in a standing position and of course also when we are moving. And then you can come into a centered position, let your arms relax and let your shoulders rest on the ribcage. Bring that sense of ease into your neck when you balance your head on top of the spine. If you would like to learn more about functional anatomy, you can join me in the online course Anatomy 201 at yogajournal.com.